Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Mishar Khan from UIT Texla and Chairperson Community of Research and Development. And today I am going to present my paper titled as Brain Tumor Detection Based on Magnetic Resonance Imaging Analysis Using Segmentation, Thresholding and Morphological Operations. Among other authors are Hadim Khan, Aksa Arshad, Engineer Naveed Khan Baloch, Engineer Anila Shaheen and Engineer Fizan Tariq. Main Objective In this world of technology and its advancements, man has been working day and night for getting ease and comfort for his life. Since the beginning, man has been working for the advanced diagnosis and equipment for medical fields. He has been in search of such diagnosis and apparatus that could eliminate chronic disease like brain tumor and cancers. Cancer slash tumor of the brain and nerve system is the 10th greatest cause of mortality in both men and women. People with a cancerous brain tumor have a 36% 5 year survival rate and a 10 year survival rate is around 31%. As people get older, their chances of survival diminish. People under the age of 15 have FYS of more than 75%, for persons aged 15 to 39 is 72%, and for 40 plus age have IFYS less than 21%. However, survival rates vary greatly and are affected by a variety of circumstances, especially the kind of brain or spinal cord tumor a patient has. These statistics prove that brain tumors are a critical disease that needs immediate diagnosis and treatment. This figure shows the statistics of the number of people suffering from brain tumors around the globe in 2020. Brain Tumor Brain tumors spread very quickly into tissues and make it difficult to be cured or diagnosed. Unfortunately, the major cause of the death of brain tumor patient in its late detection. We are deprived of advanced techniques that can detect in its early stage so that is treatment can start immediately. Mostly brain tumors are detected accidentally like doctors are examining the person for any other reason such as any head injury or neurological problem and brain tumors are found. Computer tomography, CT scan, and magnetic resonance imaging MRI are the best technique to detect brain tumor as it creates a smooth picture of the inner parts of the brain that are usually hard to see. Literature review For brain detection and literature review, we can see that thresholding, gradient vector flow, artificial neural network, neural network techniques, scalar vector machine, Support vector machine classifier, fractional calculus, finite element method, watershed segmentation, and fractal based techniques have been used. In this paper, we used MRI based imaging processing for the detection of brain tumor because these images don't ionize radiation as in X rays and they give a clear picture of the inner parts of the brain, which can't be seen with the naked eye. This methodology involves pre-processing, segmentation, filtration, thresholding, morphological operations, and classification. Pre-processing of the raw images removes the unwanted information. Our main goal in this step is to enhance the quality of the image by reducing noise and highlighting of the region of interest and the suppression of the remaining parts so that its quality and perception can become clear. Many techniques are used to segment the image such as thresholding, watershed, neural network, and region-based segmentation, etc. We adopted threshold-based segmentation because it divides an image into many regions and categories. Each pixel in image gets allocated particular labels. From these labels, we extract certain features and perform three types of thresholding, adaptive, constant, and local, for the final direction of a brain tumor in MRI. The block diagram of all the research methodology is shown in following figure. In our research, we use three different types of datasets, one from the internet, second from Kaggle, and third one from different radiology departments of local Pakistani hospitals. The format of the images obtained from the internet is in PNG and .jpg, while the format of the images gathered from the hospitals are in .dicom. Total, we had 1029 MRI images of normal or healthy MRI brain and 1265 MRI images of brain tumor. The figure shows the MRI image 
of normal subject and of a tumor patient. All images obtained from different sources were in different sizes and shapes. That's why first we need to resize these images to a standard 300 cross 300 image scale. RGB images are shown in blue colored figures. Then we convert this RGB image to a gray, gray scale one by using this formula. Then hue and saturation, noise and unwanted high frequency components are removed from this gray scale image. If any MRI contains the title patient's age or name of the hospital then all of this is also removed. There are many filters named as average filter, median filter and sobel filter but here we applied median filter because it gives better results and also improves the results for later processing steps. It is a non-linear digital filter. It is better than any other in a way that unpresentable pixel in a neighborhood will not affect its result and it preserves the sharp edges of the MRI in a better way than any other. Median filter working method includes placing each value with median value by moving the image from pixel to pixel. It can suppress the intensities of the moving objects and finally we get the pre-processed image as shown here. Binarization is the type of segmentation in which pixels of the images are converted into zeros and ones. It converts a grayscale image to that language which the computer can understand to find the region of interest. It makes the contour of the image sharper and of the object present in it, thus making it easy to analyze the shape and size of the various objects present in it. Here we used morphological operation and thresholding for binarization of the image. Morphological operations combine vector addition and subtraction and are used to find the boundaries of the image. It works by creating a window which is called a substructure element on an image which then is compared to all the neighbor pixels of the image. Adaptive thresholding after binarization, we calculate an adaptive thresholding for this image. After this step, pixels with higher intensities are grouped together to form one cluster and remaining pixels are grouped to form another. Constant thresholding. The value of constant thresholding is set to be 60. We used all the values from 1 to 100 but 60 showed the best results. Local thresholding. If pixels of the image is less than the constant threshold value, this pixel is set as a background else it is set as foreground. Here it is the horizontal and V is the vertical component of binarized MRI image. TH is the value of local threshold. After segmentation, now the image is ready for feature extraction. First we labeled all the connected components because tumor is always present in a cluster form. So to detect the presence of the tumor, we labeled every pixel of the segmented image and calculated area, solidity and bounding box. The details of these features are shown below. Solidity is defined as the area of the object divided by its convex area. It is simply the complement of the porosity of the image. Here, MRIP represents the MRI porosity, the number of ones in the pixels of the image, and MRS represents the image's solidity. Area To measure the area of the image, a rectangular section tool is created and the object of the image. This area is basically sum of the gray values of all the pixels in that rectangular section and each value is divided by total number of pixels. Sum of pixels is total number of pixels and sum of pixel grayscale is the sum of all the grayscale values of all the pixels. Bounding box. It is an imaginary shape of rectangle that represents as a reference for reduction of objects and for that object it creates a box of collision. These objects are drawn onto the image around the region of interest along the image vertical and horizontal axis. To calculate a bounding box on a two-dimensional data and we just find minimum and maximum values of rows and columns. Mathematically it is shown here where R minimum is minimum value of row, R maximum is maximum value of row, C minimum is minimum value of column and C maximum is the maximum value of the column. It shows the extracted features of the values of the two MRI images of brain tumor and normal. Figure A shows the extracted features and figure B shows the segmented MRI images. Classification is the last step involved for the detection of brain tumor. It accepts the segmented image and produces output classification to identify whether a tumor is present or not. Its main purpose is to identify a connected white colored ball of pixels which will represent the tumor area. After feature extraction, we find the high density component in all connected pixels. We only kept those maximum dense components whose values are greater than 0.6. Then we extracted the highest dense area among them all. If maximum area and highest density are equal, then tumor is detected. But to be on safe side, we put another check for the correct detection of tumor. If that tumor pixel area is greater than 100, then we draw bounding box on it and regard it as tumor, else it is a normal MRI. Classification results of tumor and normal brain can be seen in following figures. In this paper, our main focus is to detect brain tumor which is spreading and causing the death of many people around the world. We took online data from the internet and sent collected data from radiology departments. These images having format .jpg and .dicom were resized into 300 cross 300 pixels. 
RDP to grayscale conversion is done and then in order to produce a slime which hue and saturation are removed. Then a median filter is used to remove high frequency components of the images and to get a lead noise image. All these steps are done to enhance the quality and clarity of the image. This image is segmented and binarized into 0 and 1 from by calculating local, adaptive and constant threshold of MRI images. The pixels greater than a threshold are termed as foreground and pixels less than a threshold are signed as background. Feature extraction is applied to this binarized image with the help of morphological operations. Labeling of ID pixel is done so that we can get a tumor as one labeled component. Features like solidity, area and bounding box are extracted. Highly dense and maximum areas are filtered out and if one of the connected pixels is the same as that of the area of threshold image and the maximum area is greater than 100 then a tumor is detected otherwise MRI is detected as normal MRI. To plot all the results we have created a user and doctor friendly GUI. A button will load the image and plot all the results containing images of input. MRI image of RGB to grayscale, image of mean filter, image after thresholding, image after classification and detection of tumor, and the last image of bonding box in case of a tumor detection. This figure shows graphical user interface when input is a normal MRI. This figure shows graphical user interface when input is a brain tumor MRI. Conclusion In this framework, our dataset included images of brain MRI. Reprocessing and median filter is used for removal of noise, use saturation, and the enhancement of the quality of the image. Segmentation is done by using morphological operations and thresholding. Three features named solidity and area and bounding box are created. Detection is done based on area thresholding. 98.9% of images are accurately classified by this GUI and took less than 5 seconds to plot the results. In the future, we will develop an embedded system for not only the detection but classification of different types of brain tumors. These are the references of the literature review. Thank you.